What's up, YouTube? This is David from Successfully Unsigned. Obviously, go listen to the podcast. Go follow us everywhere. Instagram, Facebook. We need we need some Facebook help. So if you guys go on Facebook, if you even still use Facebook, um, it would. this is the time to get back on it and uh, follow our page. So do that. So today, um, we're going to be talking about how to make a song. Um, not even how to make a song. It's not even a tutorial or anything like that. This is just... I'm going to walk you through how I make my songs, you know, because I'm the expert. I'm just kidding. I'm not the expert, but I have a creative process that I would like to share with you. Um, and it may be similar to yours. It may be different. Um, it's okay if it's different. Everyone is different. Everyone's process for writing is different. Um, but hopefully um, you see some things I do and maybe you're like, oh, I might try that. Or maybe you're like, that's horrible. I'm never doing that. Either way, you'll take something away from this. So, um, first of all, I've got a song here. I don't. I've titled it "Getaway." I don't know. It just kind of gives me that um, that vibe. It's like a motivational slash um, determination feel to the song. I've only got a verse and a chorus. I'm just. This is the bare bones. But I'm gonna kind of walk you through sort of my thought process when I was making it and um yeah we'll just we'll walk through this together and then next time we'll talk about lyrics and we'll walk through bridge and all that stuff but we're gonna keep this fun we're gonna keep this light this is not you know I'm not gonna show you every effect I use and every you know guitar tone and plug-in and stuff no this is just this is just purely from an outside perspective of like oh, how do these puzzle pieces fit together? And how do we come to this? And how do we navigate through this process? So that being said, I've got a song here um, entitled Getaway. Um, like I said, that's just something I felt like naming it. It is kind of inspired from uh, the Chili Peppers song, Getaway. So, um, so yeah, so I started out um, on this one, as I always tend to do with guitar, um, I I've kind of got like a Corey Wong type influence of like just using single notes and like rhythmic uh, variations of like two notes or something to start a melody. Um, so this was kind of the melody that I began with. So take a listen. That's the melody. That's the honestly the the bread and butter of of the song. So I, I usually like to start my songs out with with a bang, like kind of give you a taste of the melody and then harmonic elements to kind of support that. So obviously, I just added uh, added some more guitars here and just harmonize with it. So you got the first uh, notes, and you got the harmony. You got another harmony. And then you have the uh, octave. Yeah, so we start there. And then um, next, it's the fun part for me. Adding drums and adding bass. And fitting those puzzle pieces together is so fun. And I love doing it. So for this one, I've been messing around with some like um, different drum beats. I I didn't know if I wanted to go halftime for this or or just, you know, sort of a, a straight, like, that's what I was feeling. Um, well, I guess that's more swing. Um, I, I, see, this is me. See, I'm the expert. You see? I know the difference between swing and straight. I know the difference, okay? Okay? Good Lord. Anyways, so I decided to go with a more straight feel on this, and... Um, I wanted the snare to really slap, so I used uh, the, the rim for this snare rim uh, for for the main snare sound. So I'm just gonna play this for you guys. This is what I got drum wise. Now, granted. Um, I'm not really a fan. Uh, th th this is not mixed, okay, guys? So just none of this is 
what it's going to sound like at the end, okay? This is just throwing ideas at the wall to see what sticks. Which, by the way, while we're on that, I think that there are two different types of brainstorming, right? There's convergent and there's divergent. So um, divergent is just everything is kind of scattered. You're just tossing ideas at the wall, seeing what sticks. Maybe some stuff doesn't. You're not probably going to use all of it. You definitely probably won't use all of it. Um, But it's just kind of it's brainstorming ideas. Um, Convergent thinking is when you start to put all those ideas together and you start to make some continuity out of it. So that comes later. So right now we are just trying sounds, see what's working. So with this guitar part, these particular drums to me, I I like the flow of this. I like kind of the, you know, kind of back and forth ping pong effect here. Yeah, so, and then you, you go in and you add bass, right? So for this, I just wanted to do kind of a lo-fi sound, um, like an 808. This is kind of simple. Again, this is not mixed. I don't want to hear anything in the comments about, your 808 suck. I know they suck, okay? They're not great. They're not great. But they're what we're going to play with for now, okay? So enjoy this 808 that I found on the reason companion store if you're interested it's a lo-fi 808 sub it's from um let's see what is this pack called i'm confused just so i can kind of plug this i use reason by the way to for for my projects it's more of like a like a beat making software i don't really use pro tools that much um but i like reason it's cool um 808 base mechanics maniacs sorry i can't i can't speak i can't speak 808 Base Maniacs. Um, you can find it on the Reason Companion Store if you're a Reason user. Um, if not, then I don't know. You find it yourself, all right? So, yeah, this is the lo-fi 808 that I've got on it so far. Um, so yeah, that's what, that's what we've got. So I start there, um, just kind of an eight bar phrase to get the listener warmed up to where I'm going. And that's the feel that I want, uh, throughout the song. So now that I've got the, basically the basics down, the guitars, the, the, the bass and the drums, I can start adding a little bit of color to, um, to the intro section here. So I had some ideas. One, always I start with guitar just because I am a guitar player and that's kind of my go-to. So I just added a little chord variety to insert a little bit of um, ambience into it and a little bit of mysterious energy, for lack of a better term. Um, so, yeah, this is this is kind of what I went with here. Cool. So we got the intro section. I think that that's cool for now. Um, I might add some more stuff later, but that just that's I'm happy with that and I'm ready to move on. So verse one, it's important here. When you go into your verse, everything drops, right? Bass, drums are in. Usually, maybe you take out one of those, but you you want it to kind of fall off and you want the vocal presence to take over. Now, granted, I don't have any vocals on this yet, but I want to leave space for that. So um, when I come into this verse, everything drops out except for the bass, drums, and that little ambient guitar part. So it sounds a little something like this. Cool. 
cool. So um, you're starting there, le- leaving room for the, the vocal presence to come in. Once that's established, once you've got the kind of the timbre and the temperature of the vocal, um, you can start adding things back in. So I added this little guitar part. Yeah, so now we're halfway through the verse. We can start to add more harmonic layers and more elements to kind of thicken the the verse. So I added some piano because piano tends to kind of cut uh, with like a lot of brightness, and I like that, and I like that especially in the middle of a verse. So I added some piano, and I also added um, like some like rhythmic polysynth thing. So... Um, Yeah, this is what the verse sounds like, guys. Here we go. Cool. So that is verse one in the intro, and we're at a minute and 17. This is um, something I'm trying to get a little bit better at, not trying to make my songs too long. My songs used to be very, very long and very, very boring, and even now some of them are boring, but they're a little less long, which means which means the boring isn't lasting as long. I'm kidding, but you definitely want to keep your songs under four minutes if you can just because like commercially um a lot of songs that are playing on the radio are not longer than four minutes so you want to keep your song kind of short um obviously have different versions of your song make the song long and then just chop it up later in post and have different mixes like have a mix with no vocals have a mix with um like no bass or drums have like an acoustic mix cut it to where it's like a radio mix all the things you can you can think of others. There are plenty of others you can make, but it's good to have those on hand in case you ever need to use it later. Like for instance, I had um, Ivory Black, which is um, the video that you can find, which I'll link also in the description. Ivory Black, uh, Mellow D performed it on the channel. Um, I had a mix of that song with no vocals and well, no lead vocals and no lead guitar, which is kind of a weird mix to have, but that's what we used for the backing track on that video. So. Um, so yeah, it's good to have different types of mixes there. So now we are moving into the chorus. Um, the chorus is going to change completely and it's more of a, um, kind of pushing the pace, um, kind of amping up the, the emotion of the song. Um, this is, again, these guitars are not the ones I'm going to keep in this, but it's just kind of a scratch guitar track to, to, to kind of lay the framework here. So, uh, we're coming into the the chorus with the same drum beat because you know you don't have to change the drum beat for for the chorus. You can change that later. You know, a lot of this stuff you're gonna build the framework with the same building blocks, and then you're gonna sculpt that from what you have. Um, so don't be afraid to just kind of like copy and paste a drum beat just to kind of get a feel of where you want to go, and then you can edit it later. Um, and again, I just wrote this song a few days ago. And I'm sharing it with you guys. So we're going into the chorus. It's going to be a different feel, and you'll see what I mean. Yes, so there, there's the chorus. You can tell the the main guitar melodies came back in. Um, I felt like it, it builds a lot and it, it adds a lot of emotion, like I had mentioned earlier. I added a little bit of this um, 
like for lack of a better way to explain it, like farty like saw wave um like bass to it um i'll slow it out for you so you can hear it but this this is what i added to it and it sounds ridiculously like um it sounds very obnoxious on its own but once you add the drums and bass in it starts to sound good so here, here's here it is Like I said, on its own, very obnoxious, right? Very obnoxious. But then you add the drums in, and again, it starts to give it some kind of a um, rhythmic element. So. Yeah, so um, that's what I've got, guys. This is this this farty little sequencer thing, um, some some eight oh eight, some drums, and then some guitar tracks. Honestly, that's it right now. Um, so that's where I'm starting on this song. And again, these these are just scratch tracks. These are just to give me an idea of where I want to go. And um, usually, what I'll do is I'll I'll print this, just the verse and the chorus. I'll save it to my phone or I'll put it on SoundCloud or something on private so I can listen to it in my car, so I can listen to it um, just on on my phone speakers or whatever, speakers in my room, just to get a feel, like kind of hum along to it. You definitely want to sit on a song for a little bit if you can. Just um, don't be afraid to just listen and analyze and overanalyze and underanalyze and put it up bring it back out like the song needs to kind of go through the rinse cycle here and um this is the stage when i usually do that i start to hum lyrics i start to think of um themes which we'll talk about on the next uh episode um and you know you start to to really put it together so yeah guys this is uh this is the song i'm gonna play it all for you and um yeah enjoy it and we'll just end the video there subscribe follow us on instagram Rate us on Apple Podcasts. Please take the time to go on Apple Podcasts and just, you don't even have to like write. You don't even have to be caring about it. You can just put a, a star there. Put one, put one, no, put five stars. Put five, not one star. Put five stars and then you can just say, um, I like the weird guy as your review. And I'll know that you're talking about me um, or, or Dale, either one of us. But awesome, guys. Glad you enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully it helps somebody out there. I'll let you listen to what I've got so far, and then we'll uh, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.